Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Tales of Zestria, The Cross, second season, which is on episode 10 out of 12. Now, this episode right here, um, things are coming to an end, and in other words, in many ways to one. I don't expect things to end in a good, in a good fashion, because, in terms of pacing-wise, because there's only like, what, 11, 11 and 12 11 and 12, there's like two episodes left, and I'm guessing like um, things are going to get rushed up a bit, just like what happened a bit in this episode, you know? So if anything else, let's just get this started. We have to it that the group is still traveling to north where the Lord of Calamity is at, you know, which is one of the final bosses. And apparently we have to it that Rose is practicing with Dezo and so forth, and everyone is just eating up at dinner time and freaking Edna makes a funny comment about the humans. They're so inconvenient. I'm thinking in my mind, uh, you just realized that right now? <laughs> Anyways, um, as the episode continues with its own progress or something, we have to it that, um, Simone was traveling with the group, but was trying to make contact with her master, which is the Lord of Calamity, but things are not going so well. And eventually, the entire group ends up fighting a bunch of, like, Helions or freaking Malevolence creatures, you know? And there's a bunch of dragons, too, which is pretty, um, hectic here on now. Not not to mention how tough it is for Sore alone. Rose, along with, like, um, Alicia, ends up helping out, you know? But apparently, they get, like, um, exhausted when they reach Simone, you know? And the guy, the foxy-looking guy, which I forgot in his name... He ends up using the last of all of his life force and all of his power to make a difference just to help out. Although it was nice for him to do so, I guess like things did not work out in the end for him. Oh yeah, he he's known to be Lunare or something, but I don't know. Things are still things are still like um getting a little like um head to cure in there, you know. But in the end to this point, you know, um, we have to it that Simone decides to give herself to her master to see despair and everything else about the shepherd and, and death or something. And apparently Rose still has, is exhausted. Everyone therefore reaches in front of the Lord of Calamity. But before they can continue their battle, a dragon appears out of the, sha out of the, out of the creeps or the gap where Simone fell. And it looks like to me, Simone turned into a dragon. So I go like, are you freaking serious? So... Yeah, I don't expect things to end well, you know, in terms of like, um, of the final battle, along with its pacing and so forth. It looks like to me, the next episode's called like, Become One with the Wind, I think. I think that's what it's really called or something, possibly. But like, um, looks like to me, like, um, there is a possible death coming up. I don't know, the way how the title, is, title was given by, um, Dezo, Become the Wind, I don't know. But, we'll see. I don't know what the cue is, but one thing for sure, I don't, I don't expect things to end well in terms of pacing, you know, because everything just, just went by too quick. So, if anything else, that's about it, people. I'll see you guys in my next video. So, I'm out for zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace out. Bye bye. Do do do.